Welcome to Idle Red Hands. I'm Jeremy, and today we have another unboxing. So this arrived, and from the outside I couldn't tell what it was. So Iron Clays, obviously board games, something, and it's made in China. There's their chicken logo. <laughs> so I didn't have any idea what to uh, expect, and opened it up, and we'll take a look. So here's a little bit of a... Uh, sneak there there we go so this is fiasco so last year a kickstarter campaign was run oh i don't know the best way to get this out of here let's do this way uh so last year a kickstarter was run that was supposed to fulfill at the end of last year so december 2019 but of course you know things happened in the world and because this was being produced in china obviously there were delays but this is a new version of Fiasco. So if you're familiar with the old one, it's a book and it's a GM-less uh, role-playing game. So basically you use, uh, there's different things that you establish, relationships and settings and things, and you write those on index cards and have everything kind of laid out on the table to show what the relationships are between people. And you roll dice to kind of determine certain things uh, as you're setting up the scene and then you play out the scene. So the way that it's GM-less is that it's basically just an improv exercise. So so as opposed to more traditional role-playing games, there's no keeping track of any character stats or anything. It's just the relationships, it's just the situation, and you are just reacting. And the other members in the group, <laughs> you're not really a party, the other members at the table um, can present uh, different difficulties. You kind of decide how things are resolved, but people decide when things go wrong and you ha are, it's up to you to, to figure out how to resolve it. So um, yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. So this is now a diceless index cardless version. So this is all pre-printed cards. So the cards are already uh, available uh, with, with graphics and, and a nice layout to give you a, uh, to give you a, nice idea of uh, you know what would what would be in the book and what you would uh, present as relationships or parts of the settings so let's just get started and take a look inside very nicely packed so everything looks to be in really good shape so I'll set aside things that are not fiasco that we can take a look at later all right so let's start uh, sorry I'm getting some reflection here so let's start with the basic box. So this is the uh, basic set that replaces the uh, book that uh, was previously the uh, first version of Fiasco. And as you can see, now we're looking at a card-based system. And so kind of the, if you want a one-line description of what the game is about, they say powerful ambition and poor impulse control. So your characters have <laughs> a lot of complicated uh, aspects of their lives that they need to resolve. But yeah, there it is. Powerful ambitions and poor impulse control. So yeah, so that's the box. And so you can see it's not a huge box. And so basically I think the box is about the size of the old uh, the old book, the, uh, the dimensions of the book, maybe a little smaller. Oh, but it's really nice. There we are. Yeah, so the outside of the box is uh, is uh, yeah, very well made. Very nice finish on it. As you can see, it's not glossy. It's more of a satin. Yeah, a nice board game box. So here's our rule booklet right away. And another thing they did is a, a roll 20. Uh, so you have assets for roll 20 to allow you to play this online. And there, behind this booklet is a serial code <laughs> for that roll 20. All right. So just a quick yeah so basically now the cards are going to contain everything and so you have set settings included in the basic set and then of course they offered uh, other expansion packs to give you more uh, different ways to play or different things to play in nice so yeah very well represented so yeah so negative and positive outcomes yeah, I like the um, the graphic design of this is really nice and clear. It does give it the feel of more of, a, I guess it kind of looks like Vertigo or like a, a Hitchcock <laughs> movie poster, but um, it uh, it does give a little bit more of a feeling of maybe a party game. Uh, so not 
uh, not uh, like an intense role playing experience, but also uh, you have um, it's kind of a one shot. So the, the thing that you establish uh, will will resolve by the end of the session. So here is our board. As you can see, so negative outcomes, aftermath, positive outcomes, and let's not. All right. So maybe that's the X card or just the, the other thing to uh, not do. <laughs> so I guess because you're dealing with a certain number of cards, there's uh, cards that maybe people will decide, yeah, we're not going to have that as part of this adventure if people aren't comfortable. Oh, here we go. Yeah. The let's not card. So here we go. So Fiasco can go to some dark places. Oh, it's a little closer here. So Fiasco can go to some dark places. But it should never go anywhere you don't want it to. At any time, for any reason, anyone can tap the Let's Not card when things get uncomfortable. If the card gets tapped, just rewind, revise, and change the story a little. The Let's Not card is a gentle reminder to play with an open heart and desire to make your friends look and feel awesome at the table. Trusting they will do the same for you. So yeah, this is their version of a X card. And so you get enough for all the players. And then one, of course, as you saw in the middle of the game board itself. All right. So here are the decks. Yeah, and they're well uh, well packed in there. So included in the, uh, the basic set, Tales from Suburbia. The Poppleton Mall, <laughs> Dragon Slayers. So there is a uh, a fantasy setting, if you would like. The engine deck, and then below that are ah nice. That's right. I do remember them saying uh, they're going to provide space in this box. So here are just cardboard spacers. They're going to provide space in this box for everything that they're producing for the Kickstarter. So everything that uh, that is in here will all fit in one box. So. As you can see, everything can just go right there to keep, uh, to keep everything together. That's nice. That's a really nice uh, thing to do. So it looks like three decks can fit in each compartment. Oh, that's great. So we can take those out and we can fill this box as we go through them. So that's the basic set. And I guess, oh, I'm sorry, let's take a look at inside one of these before we start opening other things. That's nice. They're not wrapped in plastic so we don't have to be opening 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 nice yeah i really like the design it's very you know very simple very graphic nice so let's take a quick flip through dragon slayers so there's asparagus oh nice so um another thing they do on the uh the backs of the cards is give you names so you need to you know establish a character the relationships in the setting and then come up with a name and to make that easy they have first names and last names on the cards themselves so you could depending on which card you, you could be alan the aloof <laughs> very easy to put uh, put titles together so that's great so here's the credits for dragon slayer nice and so each of these sets is going to have relationship cards need cards so kind of the motivations for your characters, object cards, oops, locations, relationships. Oh, and they give, oh, that's nice. So you're also provided a blank relationship need object and location. So if there's something that you would like to improvise, that's provided as well. That's great. But the cards, I guess the cards, the finish on the cards, you could write on them with an erasable marker, possibly. They should they should survive that okay but really nice nice quality cards the um the thickness and everything is uh is good so these will definitely last some some play sessions yeah definitely nice so that is dragon slayers and so i guess we don't have to totally unbox because we're just going to see a lot of the same thing and i'm going to spoil some of the uh spoil some things by going through too many of the decks. Let's just take a quick look at the engine deck. Oh, and here's another Let's Not card set up in the engine deck itself. So a lot of kind of safety tools. Oh, nice. Aftermath, total zero. 
Nice, so this is another, so here's our let's not. Wow, so I'll have to go through and see. Yeah, so we have tilt cards. So kind of renaming some of the uh, things aftermath. So this may actually, I could actually read and find that out. So if you want to drive your fiasco game like a stolen car, you'll need an engine deck and that's it. The engine deck consists of 32 fine-tuned outcomes. So 16 positive, 16 negative, 20 powerful aftermaths, and two let's not. Nice. Yeah, so this is something to... Uh, so this is an engine for the other adventure. That's why it's, it's called the engine deck to give you aftermaths and outcomes. So that's there. And then so here is the... Uh, a more suburban domestic setting. So this is the mall. All right. This is this Poppleton Mall. And there's the credits. And then, of course, like the other set relationships, needs, objects, and then blank cards. That's great. So each of these sets is going to have those. And so maybe something that developed from your session, you can leave written on the card. And even if you don't think the card could handle it, I'm sure you could just put, because there's plenty of room on the card, you could probably just put a post-it note on the card itself if uh, you didn't think the surface could handle a, a marker. Great. So they give you a bit of a variety. So there's a, uh, a mall setting, a suburban setting, and then the dragon slayers setting in the core box. Let me pull out more of these. And your engine deck to give you your aftermaths. Nice. All right, so let me... Yeah, the tray's pretty good. The, the vacuum trays are always... Yeah, I think that'll work. Vacuum trays are always a little tenuous. So let's take a look at... So there are four... I think four plus one as far as... As far as the all of the settings that they made for this Kickstarter. So feel the rush. So in the weeds and the hasty and the hateful. <laughs> nice. So a dirt bag's a dirt bag, whether she's selling pills out of a restaurant kitchen or doing crimes to afford to, to, to afford a set of GSC stage two cams on her 2006 Subaru Street Racer. Nice. So another setting. So I'm assuming in here. Oh, these are taped on the side. I guess I should. But all right, so it's, we're taped on the side. But I'm assuming there's two deck boxes in here, and yes, there are. So just like they promised, everything is going to be able to fit. I think if they only hold three, so we're looking at twelve. I think we're good. Nice. So in the weeds takes you into the seedy, off kilter world of modern food service. <laughs> We race for the same reasons we breathe. It is life. The connection between pavement is like a connection to the family, to our family. Oh, there's a little Fast and the Furious flavor for you there in this set. And so each of these settings is going to give you the same, those same cards that we looked at before. And let's take another quick look here. So these are... Oh, so this is build a fiasco. Okay, so this may be a little bit different. This includes two customizable fiasco playset decks. All right, so these are not specific settings as like high school or alien invasion, but these are make your own disaster. So level up your fiasco experience by authoring your own custom cards. So this expansion includes two blank decks with everything you need. Oh, wow. So here is just like they include a few of the blank cards in the decks this is two decks of blank cards to uh to use to completely build original so write write your own original fiascos so let's see what that looks like i think it looks very blank <laughs> so the score <laughs> nice and there's nothing there's nothing on it it, it is literally completely blank, blank to build your own you can put your own credits <laughs> that's pretty cute so they give you <laughs> They give you a credits page so you can, uh, everyone that worked on, <laughs> worked on this deck. Yeah, right. So it is literally just blank decks of the uh, relationship, locations, needs, 
and, and more blanks at the end <laughs> of, uh, of everything to create your own custom fiasco. Nice. And then, so let's take a look. This might just be the second. So the score. So that was just generically build a fiasco, and this is called the score. So I'm not sure if this will... Nope, it's completely blank. Yeah, it's not going to push you in a, in a particular way either. Great. So there are two two decks to completely customize and completely write. So in this case, you'd probably want to carefully sharpie these cards so you could play them again and again. Nice. So completely open to your own setting and your own. So after you have experience with the, the cards and the box, maybe there's something that you would actually want to play. And there you go. So here's Unknown Monsters. So this is Regina's Wedding and <laughs> Beast, <laughs> Beast of Sucker Creek. So it sounds like a, a, a romantic comedy and a B-movie. Nice. Yeah, so I won't, I won't spoil what's in the deck. I don't think I can go through it in enough of a way. So let's look at the B-movie, The Beast of Sucker Creek. Real quick. So there's lots, yeah, lots of pre-written settings. So there's your credits card. Yeah, and so everything's about this relationship. So town friends, swamp friends, <laughs> monster hunters. Nice. Yeah, and always a few blank cards to customize. Or maybe like on the spot, say I would really like to do this, and then you can actually just write it down as you're going in the game, like while you're establishing the setting and everything. That's great. So a B movie and it's like a romantic comedy. Oh yeah, I can read the uh, flavor on the back. So for the wedding, wedding bells are ringing. Regina is finally tying the knot. She's found her soulmate and the wedding is going to be a real event. <laughs> so you're playing a wedding and whatever complications <laughs> happen there. And then the beast, the beast of Sugar Creek says for hundreds of years reports of blood chilling cries in the night occasional sightings of the beast have been a fixture of the local gossip is it a hoax a crazed bear something strange and unholy and wholly new to science the beast of sugar creek yes a very very b movie feeling and to continue <laughs> to continue that theme we have the news channel six and home invasion I think they were completely honest, except for the custom decks. Yeah, everything that every pre-written deck will fit in the box. That's great. So this was the Fiasco USA expansion. So that gives you Home Invasion. And Home Invasion says, there's a nice neighborhood with a nice mix of families and a nice powerful homeowners association. People aren't afraid to tell you <laughs> that the shade of blue you're painting your house isn't allowed. So people are moving into the neighborhood that are not like us, not like us at all. Nice. So a home association based alien invasion. And then here is the news channel six and the little description on the back. So news channel six is the last place in a small market and action action news 11 is eating our lunch sometimes literally. Those bastards are always one step ahead. So you're working at a small TV news station. <laughs> nice. All right. And our last teen angst. So I'm sure this is. So the two decks in teen angst are Fiasco High and Camp Death. So a little bit of a slasher, <laughs> a slasher summer camp setting and basically just a high school setting. So high school, the best years of, of your life, four years of learning and growth, gently guided by caring professionals, <laughs> or maybe four years of debauchery and mayhem. Fiasco high. Nice. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Everything will fit. And camp death. There we go. So the last one. So here's the deal. Camp Clearwater has been abandoned since some grisly unsolved mystery 
and unsolved murders 20 years ago or whatever the new owner probably made that up so basically a friday the 13th type setting you can tell from the, the axe and the skull nice so that is it and the two blank custom decks and our let's not cards yeah so everything wow everything in the kickstarter fits right back into this box that's great they did a great job and so yeah these are the retail boxes <laughs> that you don't need to keep track of uh, everything so that is fiasco so that is the street racer pledge so that was all four expansions and like i said now the box is really heavy it's got what 12 decks in there so this is the completely card game uh, based version or card yeah card game based version of fiasco so uh i can't wait to give this a try so no writing on index cards and no dice everything is going to be card generated and we'll see how that feels how different that feels and if it uh still has the exact kind of flavor of the game it looks like from the writing and from uh, uh how everything is presented that it'll really have that same sort of feel so if you're interested in something that you can for just uh, maybe if you have gaps in your schedule or people can't make it and you don't want to continue a campaign, something like this would be fun to pull out and very quickly develop characters, a setting, scene, relationships, and just role play. So there's no dice, no GM, and you just have a, uh, a night of role playing <laughs> with your powerful ambitions and poor impulse control. So this is the new version of Fiasco. All right, so thank you for joining me. And actually, let's take a quick look because Bully Pulpit also offered some of their other games uh, available through the Kickstarter. So something that I picked up because I have, uh, people have uh, said good things about was Night Witches. So Night Witches is a game where you're playing all female Russian uh, pilots during, I can, well, I can just read you. So there were night bomber regiments in World War II composed entirely of women, natural born Soviet air women. These 200 women and girls flying outdated biplanes from open fields near the front lines attacked the invading German forces every night for 1,100 consecutive nights. When they all ran out of bombs, they dropped railroad ties. To each other, they were sisters with the bonds forged in blood and terror. To the Red Army Air Force, they were an infuriating feminist sideshow. To the Germans, they were simply <laughs> Knocked Hickson, Night Witches. So there we go. So the nice hardcover uh, version of Night Witches. And the thing that I think fell out of the package originally, cards. So they did a deck of cards to support the game. And as you can tell from backing the fiasco, <laughs> but I'm a sucker for cards. So, oh, this is, these are great. Nice. Tonight we fly. So cards to help you. Oh, sorry if you can't Let me get a little closer there. So a really big, so maybe two decks, almost three decks of cards that contain, yeah, you know, all the orders, the commendations that you receive. Oh, and here's characters. Oh, they, wow, they did a great job. So character portraits and things. So probably things they presented in the book. And maybe as a PDF version, you could print these out, but you have like representations of the characters more specifically. Yeah, so a very, uh, very interesting setting, very unique and interesting uh, war setting. So another, another bully pulpit game. So they offered, yeah, they offered a lot of uh, interesting add-ons on the Kickstarter. So this was Night Witches. All right, so thank you for joining me. And this has been Fiasco. And it's 12, <laughs> 12 decks and two blank decks. So uh, yeah, if you uh, like this video, please give us a like and share it if uh, you think somebody else would like to see what is involved or what was inside this set. And uh, the Kickstarter, I think pre-orders are available. It's all, it's shipping out now. They're fulfilling the Kickstarter pledges. So I imagine the retail version will be available soon. But that is it, the new version, the bookless version, all card-based version of Fiasco. So thanks for joining me. Goodbye.